very good afternoon and welcome. I'm Jesse Ramdeo and this is the Media News right here on CNC3 and the TBC Radio Network. Thank you so much for joining us. The life of slain mother of two, Asha George, is being celebrated by relatives and friends at the Celestial Funeral Home in Claxton Bay. Through their tears and sorrow, they clapped and sang songs of praise at the send-off for the 24-year-old. The funeral comes a week after a deadly home invasion in Claxton Bay, in which George and her boyfriend, Devon Drayton, were shot dead. Her 12-year-old daughter was shot in the head but survived, while her other daughter escaped unhurt. A friend who delivered the eulogy but did not want to be named recalled called the Asha she knew. But I want to say this morning that the Asha I knew, I don't know who you are, but I can be told about the Asha I knew. And I knew how to be very respectful. I knew how to be very pleasant. She never disrespected me. I knew how to work hard. I knew how as a young woman who loved her children. And she tried hard to provide the best life that she could for them with what she had. She also revealed how George constantly wanted better for her children, including them finishing school. She had very good dreams for her children. She wanted them to finish school. She wanted to move out of the community. She wanted a different job when she would have to be working in the night and she could be at home. She had very, very honest aspirations and dreams like any mother would. We'll, of course, have much more for you on this story later in our 7 p.m. newscast. A 29-year-old man identified as Brandon Richards is now dead. According to police, witnesses reported that Richards was standing near a standpipe on the western side of O'Keefe Street when a vehicle approached and loud explosions were heard. The vehicle drove off while the victim was taken to Mount Hope Hospital. Officers were told that the man was unresponsive and subsequently pronounced dead on arrival. In an unrelated incident, police received a call reporting loud explosions at Santa Margarita Circular in St. Augustine. When they responded, they observed a lifeless body of a mixed descent man lying face down on the roadway. The man was pronounced dead by the DMO. Six spent 9mm shells, two keys and a cigarette lighter were recovered at the scene. The deceased remains unidentified up until this time. Villagers of Mount St. George, Tobago are now in mourning following the freak accident which claimed the lives of Christian Adams and his wife, Teresa Allen. Their neighbor, Bernie Jack Gregg, lamented the death of the couple, saying the news came as a shock to the entire village and was difficult to come to terms with. The village is in mourning for him, eh? Trust me, see this village, yeah? They're in mourning for this young man. Yeah, these are, these are real hot ones for me. He hotter than pepper. We feel this one, we feel it bad. He's now one in a stool. It ain't easy to go up in the church and see the minister saying he's carrying in two dead from one place. Meanwhile, the THA's Assistant Secretary of Tourism, Culture, Antiquities and Transportation, Assemblyman Megan Morrison, who is also from the village of the couple, is also saddened by the tragedy. The deceased couple leaves behind three children. The accident, which claimed the lives of Adams and his wife, occurred along the Claude Noel Highway in the vicinity of Botanical Gardens. A truck and two cars were involved in the crash. Police say around 2 p.m. yesterday, the truck overturned on one of the cars, flattening it. Well, Office, Office of Disaster Preparedness and Management's CEO, retired Major General Rodney Smart, says he's seen an improvement in the way people prepare for the hurricane season. Major General Smart was on the morning brew today as the country braces for an active hurricane season that starts in June. And while there's often been criticism of a lack of preparation, Smart says he's seen improvement in the way that some citizens are now bracing for the rainy season. And what we are seeing through the interactions that we have been having through the various programs we have been putting on, we are seeing a greater sense of awareness, greater community involvement, more persons requesting information. 
Well, they say it is expected that TNT will have a higher than usual active hurricane season. Police are now investigating the vandalism at the St. Augustine RC Church in Canupia. The church was broken into sometime Tuesday night. The thieves gained entry into the church by cutting locks on a sliding gate of the church as well as cutting and bending burglar proofing on a window located on the southern side of the building. During the invasion, a box used to collect money for sale of the Catholic news was broken into. However, it was empty. No money was stolen from the church and no one was harmed since the premises was unoccupied at the time of the intrusion. Parish priest Father Steve Ransom described the incident as upsetting and disappointing since this was not the first time the church had been broken into. THA Minority Leader Kelvin Morris says the Secretary of Infrastructure, Quarries and Urban Development has questions to answer regarding the procurement process for several roads on the island. Morris told the press four contracts for roads were awarded under the premise that there were emergency roads for Carnival last year, but only one and a half were completed. He says while Namalco originally pulled out of the contract, he is questioning the procurement process used to select California's Stucco Company Limited within two days. Days. He also says a contract was awarded for a water park at the Storby local connector road in addition to plans for building a road in the same area. I cannot understand, I cannot start to fathom how in one breath you as an executive council will approve lands for a specific type of development and in the same breath or in the dead of night a contractor is on site clearing lands to put down basically a highway on the very lands to which you have already committed by contract to a developer. Hit out at Secretary Trevor James for a lack of transparency in how the project moved from a dual carriageway to a single carriageway. If you are now changing the scope of that project, you cannot simply decide that, well, this contractor won the dual carriageway, so we are simply going to award the contractor the single carriageway. So the question is whether a separate procurement process was initiated to award the contract to this contractor because while responding to Morris, Secretary of Infrastructure Trevor James told CNC3 News the procurement practices are in keeping with proper procedure. Well, it's now time for a quick break. More for you up next. From your best moments to your most challenging, trust Vita Biotics to be there for you, to support your nutritional needs. For every woman, there's Vita Biotics. Ncash is a mobile wallet that gives users the convenience of making digital payments. You can use Ncash with any local debit card or credit card to pay anyone and or any business on Ncash no matter who they bank with. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Yes, I accept Ncash. I accept Ncash. I accept Ncash. Find businesses that accept Ncash with the nearby business feature. Visit Ncash.com to learn more. Download the app and create your wallet today. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. My parents' generation grew up with Royal Castle from the first restaurant in 1968 when that distinctive, tempting aroma hit the air. Like never before, fried chicken with a special blend of local seasonings and a one-of-a-kind flavor down to the bone. Today, Royal Castle still have that same delicious taste and I love it too. And the kids, they have more to enjoy. For me, the castle is more than just nice food. It's we own, part of me and you, and is the real flavor of TNT.
Welcome back in sport. West Indies A and Bangladesh A drew the first unofficial test at Sela this morning. The hosts resumed their second innings following on at five without loss. They lost Zakir Hassan early for no score and Saif Hassan for six as they were reduced to 28 for two. Shadman Islam stopped the, side fr stopped the slide on his way to 64 not out as Bangladesh closed the rain affected day on 187 for seven to force a draw. Like the first innings, Jakar Ali finished unbeaten. He scored 36 not out. Scores in the match again, West Indies A, 427 for 7. Bangladesh A, scored 256 and 187 for 7. Well, Ernul Harayan scored the first 100 at the North Zone T20 Championship, but not even his knock could rescue Combine All-Stars from defeat against Shannon Sports Club last evening in Diego Martin. Shannon Sports scored 156 batting first at the Diego Martin Sports Facility. Igri Craig top scored with 65 hitting 6 fours and 3 maximums in the process. Kelvin Kunta John scored 29. Ray Campbell took 3 for 29 to take his tournament tally to 5. Well, in reply, combined for 10 runs short as they reached 146. Ryan scored an unbeaten even 100, laced with 15 fours and 6 sixes in his 57 ball knock. Andy Alexander took 3 for 31 to secure the win for Shannon Sports. Well, Nikola Jokic had a triple-double as the Denver Nuggets took a 2-0 series lead in the Western Conference Finals in the American NBA last evening. Jokic scored 23 points, pulled 17 rebounds and 12 assists in Denver's 108-103 win. Jamal Murray scored 37 points to lead the Nuggets scoring, well, scoring for the Lakers, LeBron James was just one rebound short of his triple-double as he scored 22 points, pulled nine boards and had 10 assists. Austin Reeves also scored 22 points for the Lakers. The series will now switch to Los Angeles where the Lakers will look to level up at the Crypto.com Arena. It's time for another quick break. More for you up next. The Premier League on C-Sport just got better. Win your share of up to 15,000 US dollars when you play C-Pick. Predict the winning teams, final scores, and score difference, and a piece of the pie could be yours. Compete for the title of C-Pick champion and put your Premier League knowledge to the test. With millions up for grabs, top the table and take home the cash. Visit csport.win today and log your predictions. C-Sport, the best way to see sports. New specs, new vision at CV Optical. Get single vision clear lenses in frame $299. Buy focal clear lenses in frame $399. Single vision transition lenses in frame just $999. So much more offers in store. Only at CV Optical. Affordable eye care for everyone. Love Mom with a gift from PRW Enterprises. Huge sale on smart TVs as low as $2,250. Give Mom a laptop from $2,750. Bag and perfume combo, $250. China tea sets, only $299. Tablets from $475. Protect Mom with a security combo for $2,800. Wi-Fi smart switch, $281. Call PRW today. Well, let's take a look at the weather forecast for this afternoon. TNT can expect fair to partly cloudy and breezy conditions with a few showers. Seas are moderate with waves between one and a half to two meters in open waters and below one meter in sheltered areas. The maximum temperature in Trinidad is 33 degrees, while Tobago will see a high of 31 degrees Celsius. Well, thank you for joining us for a look at the day's development so far. We'll have these stories and much more in a major newscast at 7 p.m. today. But for now, do enjoy the rest of your day. CNN.